All right, so now let's look at the dry shrink, but you know, especially when you're starting out, um, sometimes it's a bit hard to remember every single step, so we'll start again quickly. And the spray our window. Um, if it's quite filthy or dirty, we might um, give it a scour, which you saw earlier, uh, but for now, let's just spray it and squeegee it. You don't need to uh, reach all the way across. Um, you're fine leaning on the car, you've got your squeegees, you know, there's more risk of damaging, so you will just keep it simple. Squeegee this side off, and now this side. Okay, so now um, we're completely uh, dry, ready to go. Um, if I put the film on, actually, let's go off script again. I'm just going to put a piece on just to try and explain why we have to have um, some sort of shrinking aid. So with the film, um, it's hugging my hand, which means the clear coat's on the outside. If I put it this way, it's not hugging, it's going up. So this is the inside. The inside of the film doesn't like to stick to the inside of the film. It's stuck. Whereas if I put the um, clear sheet on the clear sheet, it moves. Okay, so if the inside of the film or the scratch coat is on dry glass, it's just going to lock on. It's not going to go anywhere. So with this uh, molding aid, um, it's talcum powder and we only need a little bit. I'll put it on. That's fine. You can put a ton more, which I see people do. It just means you've got more work to do when it comes to cleaning. So just a little bit. The size of a five cent piece or a dime, that's all you need. Just to create that uh, barrier which we talk about, glass, shrinking aid, then window film. Okay, so now that's on. We're gonna wet our H. When you guys wet the H, you can actually do it with a sponge or you know wet a rag and use that if you're more comfortable with it. This um, this shop we're in is kind of makeshift, so. We don't have it set up with you know all our benches and that, but if you're working for someone and you're in a bigger shop and they've got you know a storage area and a cutting bench, um, what you can do is just measure the window, then you know go and cut it out on the bench. But for now, this is how we get done without having that luxury. So I'm roughly trimming it, keeping my knife away from the car, the glass, the paint. So I want to start in the middle, I'm just locking that in again, it's not moving anywhere. So when I um, stretch to myself, I'm not actually stretching it, I'm kind of just layering it evenly, and then I'll seal across, okay? And then again here, I don't want to run my card down there, I'm going to put my hand through. If my hand makes it through, the card will make it through. Okay, so we've come across, we've got it sealed here, no spears, no fingers on the outside. We'll do the same on this side. Again, I'm going to stretch smooth up and down. Okay. So we've sealed our H. All our curve is at the top and the bottom. Um, it's the film's moving, which means our talcum powder in this sense, or our shrinking aid is working the way it's meant to. Then we'll grab the heat gun. Okay. So I want to start at the top, kind of want to layer it down, and um, what you can do is actually follow the defroster line slowly, then bring it down to the next one. You can kind of zigzag it down, but once you get the eye for it, you'll see it layering and hugging the glass. That's what you want to see.
Okay, so um, you're going to see it's ripply still. Um, it's, there's no water under there, so that's what we're going to see. It's not going to sit down perfectly. It's going to look like it's raised a little bit. So when you run your finger over these ripples, um, as long as they're smooth, that's a good thing. If you're starting to run over that and you're feeling that it's quite hard, that means it's over shrunk and that's a potential to have a problem when you get on the inside. So if you're running your finger and it's smooth, that's good. But again, if that's hard, um, don't heat that area anymore. Also too, we call these smileys, okay? So they're small, they're probably an inch, three to four centimeters. But if you're heating and that smiley's growing, the window's laughing at you, it's telling you too much heat, man, you're gonna stuff this up. So if you start to see the smiley growing, move the gun, get away, and you can save the window. Now I'm at the bottom, I can hold the gun a lot closer to make sure I get this sitting flush. Alrighty, so from dry shrinking point of view, that's fine, it's going to sit down good. Um, you, see, you might see some guys on YouTube just like getting into it and going really hard at it and quick. Um, when you're starting out, please don't buy into that. You want to get the job done properly and I started when I was 18 so I've been in it for 19 years and um, the first thing I was told was, mate, you can tint with your feet as long as it's a good job and you get paid. I'm happy so I'm going to run with that. You don't have to try and impress anyone or do anything or go really quick. Take your time, learn the correct way and then you won't have any problem with the customer paying you. So now let's do the dry shrink on the top. Again, heat going over the shoulder. When we're shrinking, if we start, this is going okay, but if this will start to going, uh, you know, off to a 45 degree angle, spread your fingers like this, fan them out, straight up. Then you can keep going. Also, if it's quite um, you know, a warm day and it's a bit dry underneath, another little trick is if you're shrinking here, if it starts to get stuck, I'm going to just blow some air under, come back, blow some air under, come back. So I could do this, come back. So this can be quite tough when you guys start out to see this and think, okay, yeah, that's fine. It's going to sit down well. Um, probably the best way, just run your hands gently. If they're making it all the way to the bottom and the film's not bunching up, um, then you're safe. It's going to be fine. So that's dry shrinking. Um, the variation of this, I'd suggest when you first start out, maybe the first 10 or 20 times, let's do a dry shrink and then follow with a wet shrink. So wet shrinking you saw in the one piece wet section, so what I'm going to do, this is a combination. For now we'll just shrink the bottom to show you. Um, you would say, well it's shrunk, why am I going to do it? You know, at the start you might have to not have the confidence to see this and think, okay great, it's going to sit down fine. So by doing this, you know, to insurance policy, you're making sure that you have done the right job and it's going to sit down fine. If there is any little fingers or spears, we can address it now rather than trying to deal with it on the inside. So I would always prefer, like the more work you do on the outside of the vehicle, um, the less you've got to do on the inside when you jump in. I'm just going to take my card over this, pushing all the moisture out. We've got a big bubble here, it's fine, but what I'm going to do is run my hand out there just so there's no risk of creasing the film. But as you can see, that's sitting down fine. Okay, so I did the dry shrink. I've gone into the wet shrink just because I wanted to know that it's gonna be fine. That shows me it's fine. Um, like I said, when you're starting out, I always like to say 10 or 20 times, do the dry shrink, follow with the wet shrink, just so you know that it's gonna sit down fine.